Mike Murdoch, what is the greatest need in your life? You may be tempted to say, well, I've just had cancer. I got out of the hospital. I need a healing. That's sensible. Brother Mike, I have sugar diabetes. At 77 years old, my persuasion is that the greatest need in your life is recognition of deception. Deception is not an odor in the, in the air. It's a person who knows your weakness, uses it against you, tries to provoke you, trigger, many parts of deception. It was Absalom's poison. It was Absalom's poison against his father. I wish I could tell you all my thoughts about that. Brother Mike, has anybody ever deceived you? Indescribably so. In Proverbs 2, God explains that the purpose of wisdom is to protect you from an evil, evil person. Evil is rarely discernible. Rarely. The most evil people in your life know how to talk, know how to communicate. Let's look at this for a moment. I have two great fears in my life. One's the fear of believing a lie. The second is the failure to communicate the depth of my gratitude. God talked alone with Adam. I may do this a couple of times here. God walked with Adam every day, but it only took one snake to dispel every deposit, every investment God had made in Adam. That's shocking. Don't ask me to explain that. How can one person's conversation dispel every investment, every conversation God had had with Adam? We sneer at deception. We laugh. Oh, God will show the God. No, no, it's dangerous. A deceiver is a dangerous person. It only takes one third voice to completely discredit everything God has taught you. I wish I could tell you all the experiences of my life. I'm a very sensitive man, but my love for people kind of sabotages my discerning. Did I know that? No, I didn't know that. That's what makes them so, so dangerous. Oh, there are some people that have a personality that's off. Some people's immature. Some are But I'd say the moment that you feel distrust in your spirit, man, not you, not you, your spirit, man, is picking up something is not right here. Stop everything. Stop everything. I think the most difficult thing on earth is to admit Deception by somebody. How are you deceived? Words. How was Adam deceived? Words. 
How was Israel deceived about David? Words. Words. I made the mistake of returning to the scene of love instead of admitting that a crook was in the environment. Crooks don't wear signs, I'm a crook. Crooks don't have tattoos, I'm a deceiver on their forehead. I've had three embezzlements, three, three major embezzlements. Every one of them was people I trust with all my money, all everything about it, I trust. I look back now and realize it's stupid to allow only one person on your checking account in a ministry or your business. There should be two looking, two verifying. I will say this. I've never known of a deceiver to change. I've never known of a liar to change. Anyone that hides information that they know you would need to know, should know, would want to know, that's a deceiver. It's heavy on my heart tonight. Real heavy on my heart. You ever heard that old saying, love is blind? No truer statement ever was made. When you care, you love. Also, if you see gifts in somebody and talents and skills and you love those gifts. I have one friend that giggles his way. He giggles his way out of all situations. If you ask him a question, <laughs> he, try, he starts laughing and you don't even remember what you ask him. He actually is a master giggler. And yet he's a, a man I admired. I'm holding in my hand Two Minute Wisdom. It's book 248. I share what I learned about Ross Perot. I had my jet in his airport, the Alliance. What's the thing that makes, what similarity was between, he was worth $5 billion, was between Ross Perot and God. But this is how you can have the book if you want it. And you may not be a reader. You won't enjoy me if you're not a learner, because I'm a learner. Book 248. And that phone number that says book, 817, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The book is free upon request. Five copies for $10. I'll pay all the shipping in that. Five copies for $10. I put a picture. I used to own a zebra. I own African lion, camels, wolves, foxes, monkeys. But I was reading some of my information, so I put the zebra on the front of my book. There's a lot of information about zebras there. Father, expose every liar in our world. Expose every deceiver and our love circle and our blood lying around us. Let every liar in our family be exposed. We don't have to advertise it, but we must discern it. Amen. Mike Murdoch here. Is it Thursday night? Thursday night. Boy, if you could have heard my one hour teaching today, we're re airing it all night long on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Mike Murdoch here. You don't like it? You don't have to stay looking, but I think it's worth checking out. Good night.